Instagram. What's up everybody, my name is Ultimate Speedster and today I'm bringing a different type of video. Uh, There's going to be a transformer based video on my, like two videos ago on my channel I posted a video of me in an old Transformers full of Cybertron team deathmatch and those was really good times for me I feel like, like not that I have a bad time now but I really love that game, it's one of my favorite games. I even loved it on the PS3 and you got remastered for the PS4. And sometimes I even go on the PS3 to find some more matches because sometimes the PS4 version wouldn't have some matches for some reason. But I really love the game. I love War for Cybertron as well. But Fall of Cybertron really sticks with me. I don't know why. But I love War for Cybertron as well. And this video is basically about ideas on what the Transformer community could do, or at least um, companies that want to make a Transformer game can do. And hopefully, y'all agree with me. Let me know in the comments down below on what kind of games you would like to see. So the first game is a Detroit Become Human style Transformer game. Now, what I mean by that is, I mean like you make choices, you feel me? The choices in Detroit Become Human was phenomenal because your choices really mattered and it'll be the life or death of your characters. I kind of wanted to be like this for the Transformer game as well, where you be an Autobot or Decepticon and you pick, like when you pick the Autobot or Decepticon, you either be like you be Optimus if you're an Autobot, Bomb be and probably somebody else. And if you're the Subcon, you'll probably be uh, Megatron, Starscream, and Barricade, or just some characters, right? And then you make decisions like you're in the heart of the war. You're on Cybertron. You feel me? You you in the smack down middle of you know you don't know if you're gonna survive the next day type battles. You feel me? So when that happens, I want it to be to where when you in those kind of battles like not necessarily battles but you make decisions and choices on uh, in the game and those choices and decisions will matter on your fate on Cybertron well if you do it as Autobot and the choice you make will either make you either win the war escape on the arc or get everybody killed all the Autobots killed and the Subdecons win for the Subdecons either you know you win the war and destroy all the Autobots or you lose the war for the Decepticons, you know? And I feel like that would be a really good game and I want it to have multiple choices. I don't want it just to be linear based, kind of. I know some of the um, choices I made was kind of linear, but like, I kind of want it to be complex, like the Trophy Become Human was. The Trophy Become Human was very complex and a well done game. And play that I recommend you do. Okay, so for number two is a DC Universe Online style. Now, what I mean by this is, you customize your character, either be Autobot or Subcon, and then if you be Autobot, you work beside like Optimus and the Autobots, and if you're the Subdecon, you be uh, with Megatron and the Decepticons. So, with this, I say DC Universe Online style is because with the game, you pick your, you customize your character, and you be a hero or villain, and if you're a hero, you work with Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and all them. And when you're, um, a villain you work with Lex Luthor, Joker. So with that game, it was a good game. I had multiple characters on it and you work with these, you know, heroes and villains. See what that is. So I think that'd be good. Um uh, all these are Cybertron based because I'm tired of Earth personally. I really don't care about Earth that much. Right now I'm tired of Earth for a minute. I feel like we need more Cybertron based things because most of the things were based on Earth. Like the movies and even some of the games are based on Earth. We just kind of started to dip into the Cybertron area. You feel me? And these are kind of sparked, no pun intended. These are kind of sparked by the new Transformers series on Netflix. Now, I, I like the series. Uh, let me know if you want to hear me do a review on that because I think it's a really good series and it's still on my mind to this day. And I think like the first day it came out and it was very, like, very good, at least to me. There's some little things, but they're not major issues. So let me know if you want to hear that in the comments down below. That's gaming style I recommend is the origin story, kind of. Like, you play as, let's say, Optimus, right? And then actually Orion Pax. And it's, I want it to be a developing story. You know, I know there's multiple stories for Cybertron, but I kind of wanted to follow the path of Transformers Prime, per se. I know they already did that with Fall of Cybertron. Like, those were supposed to be like the lead up to Transformers Prime. And I kind of, I like the storyline for Transformers Prime. You feel me? 
So, kind of like that, like you play the Ryan Pax and it's a very well done story and you see his relationship with Megatronus or Megatron, you feel me? And then, you know, you see their friendship and then you just see how the war carries out. Like, you can play as multiple characters, not just uh, Optimus. So, you play as multiple characters and you see how the story rises up. Now, I know that will be kind of similar to like War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron, but it can be done a little bit different. The story can be different. It don't have to be a Transformers on um, Prime style. It could probably be a different storyline. I just want a good storyline to be chosen when doing this game. I wanted to, you know, bring people to tears, make people happy, make people angry, like make it a very important story that will make it will interact and stick with people for years to come until like the next one. And if there is a next one, depending on how the first game goes. So these are just my ideas of games that could be made. Uh, for Transformers because I'm a huge Transformers fan. I don't know every Transformer that existed, but I'm a really huge Transformers fan. I have Transformer posters. My wallpaper on my phone is even the Autobot logo. So I really uh, love Transformers. You know, I really love Transformers Fall of Cybertron, one of my favorite games ever. I don't think I love any game more than that one. Um, and I just really want to see more games for Cybertron. I wanted to get more credit, you know. Transformers, I feel like, don't get as much credit or attention as others, and it's understandable. But I want to see it get more attention. So let me know what y'all think down in the comments down below. Uh, thank you for watching the video if you stayed this far in it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Ultimate Speaker, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.